Hello everybody, welcome back to Steve's Gear. And today we're gonna to take a look at a few products by Fiat Robin. Now I haven't shown anything on the channel so far from these guys, but I do have one of the retail stores here in my town. So every once in a while I pick something up from them and I thought I'd just go ahead and share a few things I've picked up so far. Uh, so I'll have some other videos coming up of maybe some other stuff, but on this one, I wanted to do a little bit of a video on my most recent pickup, which is actually their Zip Wallet. And then I've actually already owned the Passport Wallet. So we'll kind of just lump them together because they're fairly similar. Now, I'm normally a big leather wallet type guy. Uh, I've always been carrying OpenSea leather wallets for a long time. Uh, but for the winter time, you know, I thought about going to something a little bit more weather resistant. Um, you know, just because it's already cold and wet and snowy where I live. So I wanted to check this one out. So this one is made out of a G1000 fabric. Now the G1000 fabric is 65% recycled polyester and 35% organic cotton. And it kind of has almost like a wax canvas feel to it. Um, really nice feeling fabric. I actually really enjoy this fabric. Now the downside of it is it does pick up lint and stuff kind of easy. So if that's something that bothers you, you know, you might have to kind of take that into mind. Now, since it is almost like a wax canvas material, you can actually wax this. So Fiat Raven sells a wax called Greenland wax, and you can actually apply it right to this to give it more you know, water resistance and stuff like that. Now, I plan on doing a video about this, um, but I'm not gonna apply it to this. I think I'm gonna apply it to a backpack. So let me know in the comments if that's something that interests you for a future video. But let's go ahead and take a look at the wallet. Uh, you do get a couple of natural leather accents. So you get this little fox down here. And then you do get a zipper pole in leather, which is actually a YKK zipper. Um, everything stitched real nice, looks good. Um, if we go ahead and open it up, on the inside you're also going to get a the kind of the same G1000 material. Now the inside of the wallet does have quite a bit of organization. It's not overly complicated, but just enough organization where I think you can pretty much haul anything you wanted to put in it. So. You do get these little three credit card slots here, which should be able to hold multiple credit cards. You get a little bit of a slot here underneath that for holding some stuff, and then another one underneath that one. So should be able to fit plenty of stuff in there. Now on this side, you do get another little YKK zipper that actually will open up to kind of like a little coin pouch. So you can put coins or you know whatever else you want to put in there that is loose, and uh, you don't have to worry about that stuff falling out. Now the top, you do get a kind of another little leather accent there, which is kind of nice. And then you do get the actual kind of the billfold part. So plenty big. You can fit quite a bit of stuff in there if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, just kind of a simple wallet, you know. It's just kind of a simple zip wallet, which is kind of what drew, to, drew me to it. Uh, it's relatively thin. Obviously, it doesn't have anything in it. But just a little bit of stuff that I'll put in it. Uh, I think it'll still stay pretty thin. So looks like a pretty good uh, choice to me. Now, this one does come in at $40. I picked it up on the Black Friday sale. Um, I don't know if they're going to be on sale for Christmas. I don't know how often this stuff goes on sale, to be honest. But uh, you know, even for $40, I think you're getting a well-made uh, wallet. And uh should last a pretty long time with this type of material. It's pretty heavy-duty. It's more of their heavy-duty material. Now, if we take a look at the Passport wallet, it's basically the same. So we're looking at basically the same material. We have the same leather uh, logo there, the G1000. Um, now, if you open this one up, you do get uh, quite a bit more space. So this is a good one, obviously, for you know traveling internationally or whatnot. You do get four slots on this one for some cards, and you get a little slot here, uh, right here in the front. You do get a big slot in the back that will hold a passport. You get a bigger zipper uh, pouch there, and then you get a big pouch underneath that. And then this one has a very large opening for... Uh, bills and stuff like that. So if you were traveling, you could fit any pretty, I think any kind of international bill in here. You know, a lot of countries and stuff use coins quite a bit and stuff. So you have plenty of room on this side to hold some coins. Um, and obviously you can hold your passport and stuff. So pretty good option. Still really well made. Um, you know, same material, like I said. And uh, this is the one that I plan on using for, uh, you know, my international travel. So I think it's a pretty good option. It's still pretty slim. Should fit into any kind of, you know, your carry-on bag or whatnot. Should be pretty easy to pull in and out of there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I just kind of want to make a quick video, you know, if you haven't been interested in this. And I do have, like I said, a few other things from these guys. So I'm going to be doing some reviews on some uh, different pouches and a backpack and stuff. So if you're interested, check on back by. 
Those will be coming sometime shortly. And then uh, if you guys are interested in seeing me wax one of them, uh, just let me know. I'd be more than happy to make a video on it. But other than that, I hope you all have a great night. Talk to you later.